Hello YouTube, Variax here. Welcome to my Let's Play of Deus Ex. Released in the year 2000, uh, made by I Am Storm and published by Edos Interactive. It's a very good game, I haven't played this game in about four years and I'm going to try something different because I'm going to try it on realistic mode. Reason being is that my recent, well my Let's Plays so far, have been games that have been either very easy or games that I'm very good at and this game is neither so uh, yeah I get to choose my skills um, I'm not gonna pick pistol I'm gonna choose rifle because rifles are awesome I'm gonna agree with that as much as I can and then I'm going to pick computer because that's very important and that's all I can really do that's all I can do for now, so we should just start the game. The uh, intro movie will start. Uh, there's quite a complicated plot to this game, so none of us will have any idea what's going on until about maybe halfway through the game. But um, we get to kill a lot of people in the meantime, so it's all good. Your appointment to FEMA should be finalized within the week. I have already discussed the matter with the senator. I take it he was agreeable. He didn't really have a choice. Has he been infected? Oh yes, most certainly. When I mentioned that we could put him on the priority list for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was so willing it was almost pathetic. This play, the rioting is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? Let it spill over to the schools and churches. Let the bodies pile up in the streets. In the end, they'll beg us to save them. I've received reports of armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around, and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Hmm. Nope, you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. Intelligence indicates they're behind the problems in Paris. A bunch of pretentious old men playing at running the world. But the world left them behind long ago. We are the future. We have other problems. UNATCO? Formed by executive order after the terrorist strike on the statue. I have someone in place, though. I'm more concerned about Savage. He relocated to Vandenberg. Our biochem corpus is far in advance of theirs, as is our electronic sentience. And their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they refuse to consider. The augmentation project? Among other things, but I must admit that I have been somewhat disappointed in the performance of the primary unit. The secondary unit should be online soon. It's currently undergoing preparation and will be operational within six months. My people will continue to report on its progress. Necessary, the primary will be terminated. We've had to endure much, you and I, but soon there will be order again. A new age. Aquinas spoke of the mythical city on the hill. Soon that city will be a reality, and we crowned its kings. Not better than kings. Gods. So, first mission. Liberty Island, New York City. Um, okay, I should mention that some of the writing, some of the, the text in this game is unbelievably small, like this guy's. Are to stay here. Yeah, like that that um, dialogue there, it's very small, and I know that you can't really read it on YouTube because I couldn't get the video to compress and show it, see what I mean. But you should be able to see the, the bigger text, like like this. Up, Which is the more important Paul stuff. Is way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. I will monitor your situation from HQ. Don't need to find Paul because there Welcome he is. Aboard, Agent. Thank you. Running towards us like a madman. That's our brother, that is. Hello, Paul. Paul, I thought you were in Hong Kong. Welcome to the coalition, JC. I might as well start using your code name. Think I'd miss my brother's first day? Didn't think you'd have a choice. What's going on? The NSF. They hit one of our shipments. A few of them got away, but we trapped the rest in the statue. What are we waiting for? Looks like a textbook assault. The NSF took one of our agents hostage. The bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. I think someone high up wants to see how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but UNACO better issue some hardware. 
Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants you to pick an additional weapon. A sniper rifle, a gep gun, or a mini crossbow. Oh, I think I'll be taking the, uh, sniper rifle. I like to pick him off from a distance. I'll take the rifle. This isn't a training exercise, JC. Your targets will be human beings. Keep that in mind. I know. I get the idea. Some patronizing the first me. Move. I'm going to give you a map of the island. If you can get to the north dock, a Unatco informant will give you a key to the statue doors. He responds to the code phrase, iron and copper. You could avoid a lot of fighting, though, if you found a back way to the statue. I'll see how it looks on shore. Your primary objective is the makeshift command center the terrorists have installed at the top of the statue. But don't forget about Agent Harriman. We think he's being held on the ground floor. What are my orders when I reach the command center? Interrogate the leader. We don't yet know why the terrorists would risk an open assault. Okay, so I got three missions, pretty much. First one is to get into the statue. Second one, optional, is to find a agent called Gunther, uh, Gunther Herman or something like that. Some German guy who uh, has got himself captured. And the third is to get to the top, the top of the statue. Well, about there. And uh, talk to this NF NSF leader, these terrorist group that have attacked and taken over the place. Just gonna go down here and get some goodies from these crates. Um, I'll be playing quite um, st well, not stealthy, but as a pacifist uh, for this first mission at least, because my skills uh, suck. The only girl, the only gun I can really use well is my sniper rifle and they've given me a whole six bullets for it. Yeah, see that? Well, you can't see it because I can barely read it, but ammo, six. That's not so good. So, um, yeah, I've got a gun, I've got a pistol and I've got a crowbar. Um, and I'm just going to have to NSF everywhere, JC. avoid everyone. If you've watched any of my other Let's Plays, uh, you might be aware that I play games pretty quickly. I tend to, well, not rush, but I've been, I've been playing games that I'm very familiar with. Um, so I tend to get through them pretty pretty easily. Uh, it won't be the case with this game. I'm going to play it pretty slow. I'm going to take my time. Um, mostly because this doesn't play like a regular first person shooter. And if you do run up... Running, shooting, the then uh, you'll probably die. Stay out of their field of view, walk slowly to stay quiet, and crouch behind cover. Or if you have to get your hands dirty, remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. Um, so I'm going to try and get in as stealthily as possible, but this guy's in my way. You, I can always lure him. I'm going to have to. God, you see me. Lure him back down here, and this bot will take care of him for me. Or he'll just like forget about me. No, he's coming. He's coming. Come in. Come on. Come on. Help me. Hello. Help me. Help me. Help me. I'm being shot at. I'm being. I'll use a shield then. That's all you're good for. Come on. Turn around. Look. There's a terrorist. Someone help. There's a terrorist. He's just run right past my brother. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Paul. Thanks. Okay, I got a knife. Is that better than the crowbar? Takes up less inventory. Let's just see. Base damage 5, base damage 6. Yeah, I'll keep it. A baton? Base damage 7. But it's non lethal. Um, not that that's necessarily a bad thing. Um, but no, I'll drop that as well. And also drop these cigarettes because this game is very non smoking. And if you smoke those, you will lose some health. Today, the six is very different from a normal first-person shooter. If you aim at something, look at that aiming rectal. It's just like huge. The longer you look at somebody, the the smaller that will be, and the more accurate you will become with your shot. And that will the amount of time that that that'll take to decrease will will. Um, in decrease with with like how skilled you are. 